Uh, the main turtle I want to be seeing is the Razorback Musk Turtle, but there's also some other really cool species in this creek behind me as well. Um, there's possibly alligator snapping turtles in here. There's also Mississippi map turtles and other cool stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go put my snorkel on and start snorkeling some of these holes behind me. guys well I got what I was after so after just an hour or so of snorkeling here I was able to turn up this razorback musk turtle so if you find a turtle in the wild and you want to know if it's a razorback musk turtle there are a couple key characteristics you can look at um, the first and most obvious being this really high keel that they have on their back along their vertebral scoots another way you can ID these turtles is by looking at the scoots on their plastron so if we count here, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, razorback musk turtles have 10 scoots on their plastron, whereas other species of musk turtle uh, will typically have 11. So they're missing um, a guler scoot that is anterior to their plastron right here on the bottom. But yeah, turtle facts aside, uh, this guy is just absolutely gorgeous and I'm really happy I got a chance to see him. Uh, but I think it's time to let him go and I'm gonna go ahead and start looking for my next turtle. Alright guys, well here is another big male. Uh, this guy is just totally awesome. Look how big his head is. Hey big head. He's a pretty boy. Alright, time to let him go. guys so here is a midland water snake this is a subspecies of the northern water snake and yeah super feisty snakes they always give you a couple bites um, but they are harmless they're non-venomous and uh, yeah they just want to be left alone so I normally do that but I just wanted to grab this guy real quick for you and show you uh, what they look like a little bit up close they tend to flatten their head down a bit whenever they're agitated makes them look uh, a bit more venomous a bit more scary um, but yeah they are harmless and he looks like he's about to give the camera a whack so I'll let him do that real quick nope he's gonna run there he goes all right guys I just walked up on the next turtle here and he is just sitting right out in the open no cover at all I'll grab him real quick Oh, he's a big one. Oh my gosh, man. These guys are huge. These guys are so pretty. Wow. This is another big male. These things are gorgeous. Just 
trails are all covered in algae right now, but I'm sure he has some really nice modeling underneath that as well. Whoa. So when I think about Razorback musk turtles, I always associate them with loggerheads for some reason, um, but they're actually more closely related to the Eastern musk turtle or the stink pot, which I find pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I always associate them with loggerheads in my head. I mean, they do look very similar, but definitely more closely related to the stink pot. Right up under that rock and I would just never see him if I didn't know he was there. That's not a rock, that's a log. Right up under the log. Alright guys, this is getting absolutely ridiculous, so I can't walk a couple feet without seeing a turtle. Oh, there he goes. Um, so I'm probably going to stop recording all of these guys. Let me grab this guy real quick for you. Oh, he's wedged under a rock. There we go. Super pretty though, man. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I am just finding an absurd amount of these guys, so I'm gonna stop recording every single one of them. But if I see anything cool, uh, I'll show you guys some highlights here. Well, I think just about every video now, I'm gonna end up finding a half dead fish up on the bank here. Uh, but for this video, we have the central stone roller. Um, he's still alive, but once again, not doing good. Not doing too good, so. We are hopeful for a speedy recovery, but it's not looking pretty. This is the, probably the first turtle I've seen so far that is not fully grown here. A lot of these guys have been pretty big turtles I've been seeing so far. Uh, but this one's on sort of the medium side, so we're getting closer to a baby here. But this is not quite it. Still though, that vertebral keel is really high. Really, really cool. Check that out. Super, super cute turtle. Look at that face. It's hard to capture just how high the keel is on these guys' shell on a video for some reason. Uh, but it's just really, really cool. Just never, never seen anything like that yet, so. That is just bizarre. It's trying very hard to bite me right now. It's pretty surprising how far they could stick their necks out. And back here on these back marginal scoots, we have some damage from uh, little scraps this guy's having with other musk turtles. All right guys, well I just made it back to my car. Um, I saw probably over 20 Razorback musk turtles at this first spot alone. And so for that reason, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching.